I think it's absolutely are important for us to attend these conferences, particularly the Routes Conference. Uh, we get the opportunity here to network, uh, meet up with new partners, more importantly, get the updates on trends and you know all that's happening in aviation and even on airport operations, the new trends. Uh, meet with our partners to see how we've been performing on routes, the different routes uh, and the possibility of emerging routes as well. So. You've had some success um, in recent uh, months, years um, with JetBlue service, increased right. American service. Um, any other plans on the horizon as it relates to increasing connectivity? Right. For us, we think it's important now to fill those seats. Uh, we are in discussions as well. Today, we hope to meet with some, some of our partners in terms of additional routes are possibly in the northern part of the U.S., which is our biggest source market. Uh, that's in the middle region, Chicago, or uh, even in Baltimore, thereabout. Um, we also want to expand some, some routes out of Canada as well. So we're meeting with some airline partners there as well. So. But for us, the focus is filling the seats on the new carriers that we have, JetBlue and even the existing one. Tell us about um, Sigjits. What's, what's new um, in, the, in the Federation? What's exciting? What um, can tourists look forward to, to in 2024? Right. So we have been working with stakeholders. We have a number of, we, we've tried our best to work with stakeholders to diversify our offerings. And we have a number of new things that are happening. I know the Rum Tour, it's uh, been resonating within our source markets. And we have been working with even uh, Old World Rum, they are making some changes to the actual tour. We have the Kitts Music Festival that's coming up in June as well. We recently announced the first phase of Artis, and I think people are excited. It is clear that we are committed as a government to the orange economy. We have a number of local acts and regional acts. So we wanted to give them the opportunity to share the stage with global uh, performers as well. Uh, the second phase should have a lot more excitement in terms of the persons who are going to be performing. So that's the Think It's Music Festival. We also have Restaurant Week, which comes up in July, um, where we would have our culinary artists use a local fruit and promote the different ways that you can you know, use the fruit. And uh, it goes into... Uh, ministerial collaborations, for example, we would be working with the Ministry of Agriculture um, and Tourism. So we would collaborate to try to diversify what we offer in tourism. We have the carnival in December and we also have a like, Nevis culture armor that happens during the summer as well. Generally, uh, overall feelings about the tourism sector in St. Mm -hmm. Kitts, a lot of moving parts, marketing, improving the product, airless, right. regional, international. Um, there's a lot in your portfolio. Right. Um, your your general thoughts on the future of tourism for St. Kitts? Right. I think for us, the focus initially was pandemic recovery. But what has been clear is that we need to move away from benchmarking from 2019 to focusing on new and emerging opportunities. And so, yes, I think as, uh, the industry has recovered well. Uh, we still have a lot more to do. We've recovered well in our regional markets. We saw additional lifts, airlifts. Uh, from Inter-Caribbean, Caribbean Airlines. Uh, we lost Liat. Liat is no longer in the sky. Hopefully not for too long. Um, but I think uh, even internationally as well with the introduction of uh, JetBlue and uh, you know all the hopes of discussions with other air carriers, I think we're rebounding well. Even in cruise tourism, we continue to struggle with stayovers, but we're hoping that all the uh, the efforts and all the moves made with Airlift that we can con we can grow our stable visits as well. We look for investments in hotels because that has to go with Airlift, of course. And we continue as a government as well to pursue investments in room stock. Uh, we're hopeful. I think we will see uh, an increase and a boost in the industry at the end of this year, last quarter, and even into 2025.